Breakfast is served. Oh, baby, I'm already running late for the office. I'm not sure I can do that, okay? Mm. Love you. Should have just eaten. For you and then I slept off. <laughs> Who kept you till this time? I'm sorry, we had an issue at the office and it needed to be resolved before anybody could leave. You know, tomorrow is Saturday. Your phones were switched off. I tried calling. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry about that. I had to switch off my phones to avoid distractions and you know, so I could round up on time and come back. You would have at least called or better still send SMS before turning off your phone. I was worried sick. I'm sorry, my love. I assure you, it will never happen again, okay? Okay. And I'm sure you've not eaten anything since morning. Let me help you with this. <sighs> I just got a call from the office. There's an emergency board meeting. Today is Saturday. I know. But you know, since we've got competitors now, we have to work twice as hard to retain our clients. Seriously? Babe, this is... I mean, this is getting out of hand now. I, I, Baby, I promise you I'm going to be back home early today. And I promise you, when I get back home, I'm going to make it up to you. Okay? I love you. made your favorite. I just want you to come back early like you promised. I don't want you to eat cold food. Oh dear, I'm already feeling bad. I'm going to miss it. What do you mean? Baby, I won't be coming home today. Baby, why? The board decided we have to travel to Abuja to take up on our branch over there. So they set up a four-man team and I'm a part of that team. Why must you be among the people traveling to Abuja? Baby, they selected capable hands. I promise to make it up to you when I get back, please. I'm already on my way to the airport. Already? Uh, babes, you would have at least come home to pick some stuff that you will need. There is no time for that. I'll get a few things when I get to Abuja. Baby, you know I love you, right? I know. I love you too. Have a safe trip, my love. Bye. Baby, Daddy is traveling. He's going to Abuja. Don't worry. Sadie will be back tomorrow. Okay? I'll soon be done. Good. Thanks, darling. It's Gordo. Oh. Plus, my husband has been taking real good care of me. <laughs> Look at you. You're not looking bad yourself. Thank I like you. those things on your hair. Is that gold? Yes, yeah, 
I decided to do it for a change. Wow. <laughs> but seriously, Martha. When am I wearing that dress? When is this man coming now? Eh? Talk to me. <laughs> He's in men and their deceitful ways you're talking about like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not interested. Oh. Hey. Talking about your husband. Where is he? Oh, we traveled to Abuja on a business trip. We'll be back tomorrow. Abuja. <laughs> Men and their lies. And you believe him? What are you talking about? Of course I believe him. He's one of the pioneers in his company. And his attention is highly needed there. Kasi. I saw your husband today at Lady Phil's restaurant with a lady. And if you saw the way they were discussing, you obviously know there's something between the two of them. As a matter of fact, your husband is cheating on you. You know that's impossible. Philip cannot cheat on me. Please, come on. If you say something else, my Phil. <laughs> no. My dear, don't be fooled. I can see you have a high level of trust for that your husband. You better act fast before you're taken for granted. Hmm. Are you sure? Are you really sure it was my husband you saw? Because my husband is... I'm very sure it was your husband I saw today. Except you're telling me he has a twin brother somewhere that we don't know. You have to do something. Men. Abuja. Men and their lives. <laughs> travel, no travel. TNT. Uh. Sound. Sound is something heard by what? Yeah. Good. The early men learnt about nature through the following. Singing of birds. Repeat it. Singing of birds. Cries of animals. Cries of animals. Sound of water brooks and falls. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Hey, Angel. Hi, honey. Hey, I told you something. Let's. Oof. You're not a big girl. How are you? How is school? Fine. Did you miss that? Yes. Yeah, I got you and mommy something. <sighs> oh, my sweet angel. Come on, darling. Let me take a bit breakfast for you, okay? Yes, mom. Uh, I've done that already. something good. Dad, I don't want to fight you. No, sweetie, we're not. And you're already running late for school, okay? Let's get going. the whole silence and avoidance as of late. I'm talking to you. Answer me. What do you want to hear from me? Like you don't know the reason. What are you talking about? Oh, spare me the pretense, Phil. Phil? You hardly call me by my name. Have you changed name? Is your name no longer Philip? 
Or you want to use that as an excuse for your infidelity? Infidelity? Honey, what are you talking about? Look, I don't have time for this. But be rest assured that I will not allow you to treat me like some trash. I will make this house so much unbearable for you. Excuse me. Yes, what is it? Cancel it. I said cancel it. And all other appointments for today, I'm not in the mood. PM. Really? People leave the office at 4 p.m. What have you been doing until just 8 p.m.? Baby, where is this coming from? What has come over you? You, you have come over me and you will not have peace in this house. Baby, I can assure you I have never cheated on you. And I'm certainly not cheating on you. Oh, please, tell that to Angel, not me. Baby, please open the door. Good night. Baby, baby, please open the door. Oh my God, what do I do? Angel, should I go and sleep in her room? No, she'll definitely know there's something wrong. Reacting. You're not overreacting anything, my dear. You are doing the right thing. I feel like I'm pushing him too much. Exactly what he needs. You really need to push him real hard. Else, guess what, my dear? He will push you and your daughter out of this house. That's impossible. Worse still, he will push you out, get another woman that will be maltreating your daughter. Seriously? While I'm still alive? That's impossible. That will never happen. Then you better wake up from your slumber. The thing is, I'm acting without evidence. I wish I can see, I can just lay my hands on this boy he's doing all this rubbish with. I can see you need to prove. This is what we will do. Oh, 
okay. Uh, I'll get back to you. Okay. Good day, sir. Uh, good day, young lady. I presume you're here for the pregnancy. Yes, sir. Please sit there. Thank you, sir. Not good enough. But if you are to work for me as my personal assistant, you have to dress decent. That's one. Two, this my job is very much time demanding. And the reason why I need a personal assistant is to relieve the workload so that I can make out time for my family. Okay, sir. But I can assure you that I can fit into the job perfectly and do my work diligently. That's good assurance. Though you're the first to apply for the job, but if we get somebody with more experience, we have no choice but to take that person. Uh, sir, I'll keep my fingers crossed and hope I get the job. Well, I'm very, very sorry about my dressing. That's all right. We'll get back to you. Thank you very much, sir. Do have a lovely day. Okay. Have a lovely day, sir. You too. Talk to you. Please just let me explain the whole thing. For God's sake. Please. I want you to know that I have never cheated on you. I love you so much. I would never do anything to jeopardize what we shared or what we're sharing right now. You and Angel mean the world to me. I love you so much. You need to believe me. How did you explain your late nights and impromptu travelings? My late night has strictly works. As a matter of fact, I've even gotten a personal assistant. So now my workload is reduced. Are you sure telling me the truth? Yes. Prove it to you. Can you just please live in peace? Very cute, sir. And I've been admiring you for a while now. Allow me to make you feel like a great man that you are. 
I promise you're going to enjoy every bit of it. Have you lost your mind? I'm a married man! Ah, of course I know you're a married man. But it doesn't change anything. Please! Yes! I will go. Just know that no one has ever resisted me. Rubbish. So why is your friend not here? She asked me to see you. So how did it go? I hope you have enough evidence for his wife. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. That man is not cheating on his wife. He's always about his wife and his daughter. I even tried seducing him, but he turned me down in a humiliating and embarrassing way. How much did he pay you? Excuse me? I mean, how much did he pay you to say this nonsense? Because I know you're lying. Hey, hey, hey. I know you're seriously in need of evidence. But that man is innocent. As a matter of fact, I'm done working for him. And I'm done with what you paid me for. But I'm not satisfied with your results. I'm a professional in what I do. And my professional advice to you and her is that you and your friend should not push that man beyond what he can take. Neither I nor my friend needs your advice. But I will prove it that that man is cheating on her. I don't even understand you. He's not your husband. Why are you so much concerned? You're not meant to understand. Rubbish. Mata, please, let's stop this already, okay? If the lady says he is innocent, I believe her. I mean, we're beginning to push things too far, don't you think? <laughs> Where is your husband right now? Is he at home? No, he's not home. How can you explain that, my dear friend? I know very well that that girl was paid by him to keep her mouth shut. And that's if he hasn't started sleeping with her already. Look, look, look. Enough of it. This is becoming too much. Just, just stop it. I just sent you a picture to your WhatsApp. That's where your husband is now with a lady. What's up? Angel, how are you? Come back here, little girl. Why are you avoiding me? Answer me. I hate you anytime you come here. I always make my mommy and daddy fight. That's not true. Your mommy and daddy have their issues. That's why they are fighting. I am not the cause of their fights. I see a lie. Anytime you visit here, they always fight. Angel, why did you talk to my friend in such a disrespectful manner? Angel, I'm talking to you. Mama, I don't like her. Will you shut up? What do you know? Do you know what I'm going through? Besides, you don't go about insulting your elders. You're just a child. Listen, this should be the last time you insult any of my visitors. Do I make myself clear? 
Yes, mommy. Good. Let me get you something to eat. Phil, this is the father you asked to submit. Phil, are you okay? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What file did I give to you? Yeah. I'm very sorry. I'll get the right files to your office. Phil, what's the problem? You look worried. You won't understand. Hey, come on, try me. It's my wife. She's no longer the caring and understanding woman I used to know. She nags at every move. She even accuses me of cheating because of my late nights. She's making my house unbearable for me. Have you tried explaining things to her? Several. I even got a slap from her last night. What? That's serious. And, and what did you do? I had to walk out from her to avoid hitting her. I understand. I understand. Women and their sensitive lifestyle. Well, man, you need to take it easy on her, okay? With time, I believe she would understand you're not that kind of man. Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. Hey, come on. You know the feel I used to know, Cherub. If only you were in my shoes, you would understand. Ah, come on. Look, by the way, it's even closing hours. Let's go grab one, two, three bottles, you know. Put a smile on your face and feel. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, uh, let me just clean out my desk. So I'll meet you up front. Okay. Okay, good. I'll, I'll go with you. Oh, okay. All right. Honey? Honey? Go back to where you're coming from. Office closes at 4 p.m. Honey, I went out with Chris to, to have a drink. You can call him and ask him if you want. You think I'm a fool, Abby? You've planned everything with Chris and you want me to call him so he can give me the perfect answer. Better go back to where you're coming from, okay? Honey, where do you want me to go back to now? Where? I don't know. I don't care. Good night. Be home. I was hanging out with my friends and I saw your car drive past. And I figured out something must be wrong. I had to trace you down to the office. Is everything okay? Yes. Sure, everything is fine. Are you sure about that? I might be of help, you know. Oh, you're crying. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Rita, what did you make me do? What do you mean by, what did I make you do? Who made love last night? All I can remember from last night was being drunk. That made me believe you have a short memory. You took advantage. You know I'm a married man for crying. Oh, please! Ah, and so? 
Stop pretending you didn't enjoy everything that happened. Of course not. I want you to listen to me. I want you to get your things and leave this office before people start coming around. And I never want to see you here again. Meaning? Meaning you're fired. Now get out of my office. Oh, feel my son. Please come in. <laughs> Have your seat. How are you doing, Mom? Well, the Lord has been faithful. How's everything? How is my daughter and my granddaughter? I wish I can tell you everything is fine with us. What's the problem? My wife. She's changed. Always picking fights with me. What is her reason? She said I'm cheating. Are you? No, Mama. I'm not cheating on her. I love her so much. <sighs> For how long this has been going on? It's been a while now. And you are just coming to tell me? I thought I could resolve it on my own. But it keeps getting worse every day. What do you mean? The other day, she slapped me. Yes. And last night, she locked me out of my house. I had to go back to the office and sleep. Phil, why do you have to go to the office and sleep? You should have taken a room in a hotel, eh? Mama, she would have never believed I slept alone in that hotel. I had no choice but to go back to the office. Please, you need to help me talk to her. Please. It's all right, my son. I will call her and speak with her immediately. But meanwhile, let me get you something, OK? OK. Mom, won't you at least hear my own side of the story? I didn't call to hear whatever it is you have to say. I called for you to stop whatever it is you are doing to your but husband. But mommy, he is cheating on me. And you think you will get him to stop by nagging him? Besides, what makes you think he is cheating on you? Have you ever caught him in the act? Well, not exactly, but my friend said she saw... Why will your friend have a say in your marriage? She's my friend. She has my interest at hand. Mommy, you know how men behave. Listen to me. Your husband is on his way home now. And I want you to apologize to him once he gets home and treat him with respect. Have I made myself clear? Yes, mom. But mom... No! You will have to do what I say. Don't you know that with this attitude of yours, you might push him into the heart of another woman? Even if he's cheating on you, you have to bring him back by prayers and make him feel comfortable at home. In that way, what he's looking for outside, he will always find it in his house. And whether he will have no need to go after another woman again. Yes, ma'am. Sorry I overreacted. Good. How is my granddaughter? She's fine. Alright, have a nice day. Okay, my dear, be good. Okay.
been acting up lately. A lot has been going through my mind and I don't want to lose you. Baby, you won't lose me. I love you. I just want you to stay by my side. Promise me. Promise me you are not and will not cheat on me. Baby, I will never do anything to hurt you. Slept at the office last night. What a proper lie. It's not a lie. I did sleep at the office. Just let me explain. There is nothing to explain. How dare you? How dare you involve my mom in your web of lies and deceits? Can you just let me explain before you start going crazy again? Oh, yes, I've gone crazy. I have gone crazy. I'm going to show you what crazy people do. Oh! Maybe. Look, fear this is too much. What would you have me do? Is it until she kills you that you know what to do, right? Huh? Just, just take a look at yourself. <laughs> but I did it. I wish she was the cause. I didn't she send you out that night. This would have happened to you. Phil, this wouldn't have happened to you. I'll take it as my punishment. Just, just hear yourself speak. If she had killed you, is this what we'll be talking about? Huh? But she didn't. And can we please stop talking about killing her? But look, she didn't even show any remorse, huh? She didn't even come to the hospital to check and know how you were doing. If you're fine, or oh, God forbid, maybe dead. Probably she was scared and was feeling guilty. I wish you could hear yourself speak. Because I can hear myself speak and I'm not feeling so strong anymore. I need to go home. <laughs> just, just be careful. You, you don't know what she is on here this time around. <laughs> She's still my wife, you know. I just need to make her understand. <sighs> Women. Why would I do that when you have other women to do it for you? Why are you talking like this? Where did you sleep last night? I slept at my friend's place. Hmm. Your partner in crime. Hmm. So why did you bother coming back? Should have continued staying there. Can't you see that this is your recent attitude? It's causing a problem in our home. You're pushing me away. You're building a thick wall between us. Thick wall? 
<laughs> the one you already built. I'm only helping you to paint it. Can I at least get something to it? There's nothing to it. It's a long story. Uh, any, what are you doing here? I can see a friend. Oh, okay. Uh, where are you going to? I'm going home. Can I drop you? Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, hop in. Where's your daddy? I don't. Hello, baby. Sorry, he's still sleeping. Hello? Be <sighs> baby, have you brushed your teeth? All right, just go and brush. I'll come and beat you now, okay? Oh my goodness. He's still sleeping. And they thought I was mad. Okay. It's all right. strength for all of this. Just let me in. Please, what's all this now? You are not stepping an inch into this house. Go back to your husband's house. You want to stop me from entering my father's house? Oh, which is my husband's house? Cassie, what are you thinking about? What about your daughter? What will become of her? Eh? He didn't think of her. He didn't think of our daughter when he went about sleeping around. Oh, he went about sleeping around. It is because of your nagging attitude that forced him to do no. so. Oh, don't mommy. me. Don't me. Don't mommy. me. Yes, if you had given him peace of mind in his own house, he wouldn't have gone outside there to seek for it. So I should be at fault. When it's obvious he's the one cheating. For goodness sakes, mommy, I found condom in his pockets. You found condom in his pockets. What about other women? Who find their husbands on top of another woman? Yet, they do not bring down the roof. Mom, you know that's not possible. There is no way a woman will find her husband on top of another woman and not raise the roof. I did. I did! Not once, not twice, did I find your father on top of another woman. In as much as I wanted to react badly, 
I thought about you. That what would become of you if I should leave this marriage? Your future makes so much to me than a broken home. I had to stand my ground to fight for my marriage. That is why my daughter, you never experienced a broken home. I want you to go back to your husband's house and fight for your marriage. Mom, you went through all of this and I'm not even aware of it. Because that fight is not a fight to be announced. Your victory will do the announcement. I want you to go back to your husband's house before he finds out that you are gone. For you not to regret anything. Go back there and fight for your marriage, my daughter. It's fine, mommy. I'm here already. Let me just chill. When the sun is down, I can leave. I said you cannot step an inch into this house. Go back to your husband's house. I'll give you a call later, okay? Mom. Bye. Don't worry, baby. We're late. Let's go. No, honey. Don't yeah. want to be late. Morning, mommy. Mommy didn't work. I don't think I can continue like this. He's the cheating one and I'm the one suffering the silence. This is not fair. You mustn't give up. You just started. It's too early to give up. You still have a long way to go. This is going to be tough, right? Yes, but with prayers, you will pull through. Where's Angel? She's going to school. She just left with her. She's writing exams. Okay, when she's on holiday, bring her here to spend the halls with me. So that you can have time with your husband. Alright, Mom. I'm going to get ready for work. No, you're no longer working with us. That's because you fired me. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. It's alright, you're here now. So, where are we going? Anywhere of your choice. It's okay by me. Okay. Alright, uh, let me get my bag and put on my shoes. Ow. Mm. Mm. You won't be 
believe you, I saw your boss Hey, 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 just hold it. I don't care who you saw my husband with. Just let him live his life. Is this coming from you? I just told you I saw your husband with a lady. I you not even bother to know who I'm she not is. I'm not bothered. Please, enough of who you saw my husband with, what he's... Just let him be. I can see you have decided to give him a free hand. Martha, the last time I checked, he is still my husband. Okay? I have other important things to do other than follow him around, don't you think? Sorry, you. I have to be on my way now. But I hope you know what you are doing. Martha, won't you at least just stay and take a Never drink? Never mind. My God! Look, you've been happy these days and whatever it is that's behind it shouldn't stop. Uh, you can say that again. You know, I never expected it to be happening, but it's making me happy, so I don't mind continuing. Sure, sure. Um, Phil, come to think of it, what if, what if your wife finds out? Who cares? The truth is, I don't care about what she thinks or no. Even if she finds out, the better for me. It will speed up the divorce process. You want to divorce her? Yes. It's already in process. I'm seeing a lawyer. I mean, I've suffered far too long in her hands. Look, Phil. Phil, I'm glad you are happy. But you... You getting divorced, I'm not in support of it. I really think you should think it over. Serious. I've thought about it, and it makes me happy. A few minutes back, I got a call from my girl I'm supposed to meet, but I've been like, like 45 minutes. You know, you know how this thing goes now. Feel. Keep her waiting. Feel. <laughs> Look, you deserve all the happiness in the world. You deserve to be happy, but man, take it easy, okay? I'll try to. Bless. <laughs> Okay. What's going on here? Sweetie, I want us to have a candlelight dinner. What have you been up to lately? Honey, I realized my mistakes and I want to make amends. You know I love you, right? You know, I don't understand you. At one point, you were a loving, caring and understanding wife. And the next thing I know, you are this nagging woman. And just when I started getting used to that, you're changing again. I'm not even sure I know the wife I married anymore. It's me. Still me, baby. Let me make amends, please.
papers. Hope you've signed them. I will not. I haven't and will not sign these papers. Cassie, you don't have a choice. I don't want a divorce. I'm not giving up on you. You have to sign them. You can go to any extent. I'm not signing these papers. <laughs> So what do you mean she refused to sign the divorce papers? I thought she always wanted a divorce. So I thought, but all of a sudden, she no longer wants a divorce. So, if she doesn't sign the papers, are you going to leave me? No. My heart belongs to you now. Are you sure? Yes. And feel free to come by the office anytime to see me, okay? Oh no, considering the fact that I was once your personal assistant, people are going to speak ill of me. Who cares about what people think or say? All that matters here is how I feel about you and how you feel about me. You make me happy. Oh, you make me happy too. And I hope you're going to spend the night again here with me. If that's what you want. Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Divorce. How did you know? I saw the divorce papers while I was cleaning the house and he asked me to sign them. Did you? No, I didn't. Good. The going just got tough. Have you prayed over everything? Not particularly. Oh, Cassie, you are not getting it right! Eh? This is the time for you to pray earnestly. Otherwise, everything that you have worked for will just go in vain. Where is he now? He hasn't returned home since he left yesterday. You have to go back home now before he gets home. Eh? Don't ever give up. You heard me. Don't ever give up and pray for him. Wipe away your tears. Everything is going to be okay, right? It's okay. Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> I could find this over myself. Lord, 
please, I'm sorry. Help me, I need my family back, I need my husband. Oh, I'm so sorry. God, have, have mercy on you. Please get my home back Already, and you told me my husband was not cheating on me, and then you turned out to be the same person he's cheating on me with. Uh, honey, uh, uh, do do you do you know her? Uh, I don't. Rita here was the lady I paid off to put a trail on you. What, Rita? Please tell me you don't know anything about what she's saying. Rita, what is going on? Uh uh, Cassie. You sounded so worried. What is the problem? Ah, you couldn't even wait for me to come. You won't believe who I got with my husband today. Oh, so now you're ready to talk about your husband. Mata, please be serious for once. <laughs> okay, so who is it? Rita, the same lady you contracted to money to my husband. Oh, now you know. What did you mean by that? You knew about it? Of course I knew about it. I was trying to talk to you about it, but you wouldn't listen. Inside you were like, oh, I don't want to talk about my righteous husband. So I decided to let you be. I thought you said she was professional. So I thought. So you thought. You don't even know her and you brought her to me. Hold on a minute, Cassie. Are you trying to blame me here? Of course I'm blaming you. You talked me into this and now it's affecting me. What do you mean I talked you into it? Are you a kid? I didn't force you into it. You could have as well refused if you didn't want it. Cassie, if your home is broken, go fix your home. And stop looking for who to blame for your broken home. I should have listened to my mom. It was obviously a mistake knowing you. Oh, please, spare me all that. Have a good life. Oh, please. Imagine. What rubbish. To think that this was why she called me out in this hot afternoon. Rita. I deserve an explanation for what happened earlier. I, 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 I... I don't know you to stammer. You can't talk again. Rita, tell me you know nothing about what my wife was saying. <laughs> my wife actually paid you to monitor my movements? Oh no, baby, I can explain. Exactly, explain to me. Okay, uh, your wife actually paid me to know if you're cheating on her. That was why I had to get a job as your personal assistant. So I've been a business to you all along? Oh no, baby, no. That was then. But now I truly love you. You know, when I couldn't get any evidence against you, I had to quit the job. Until fate brought us together. Can't believe I fell for you. Can't believe I fell for you. I went as far as even serving my right divorce papers for you. Just to be with you. Oh, the 
thinking I found happiness in you. Oh, baby, please, please forgive me, baby. I'm so. Oh, 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 Hello, Angel. Hello, Daddy. How are you? Daddy, I'm sick. What? Where's your mommy? She left me at home and went out this morning. Oh my god. Okay, just, just, just hang on. I'll be home as soon as possible, okay? Cheating. You, you were the one who pushed me to cheating with all your nagging. You set a trap for me and I fell into it. Why did you fall into it? You could have at least avoided the trap. 
Besides, I've apologized time and time again. What do you want me to do? Angel, what is it? So you people are still fighting. Angel, we're sorry. It won't happen again. Angel. 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 Angel, please. Angel. Angel. Angel, honey, are you still there? Yes. Angel, honey. Angel, please open the door. I have to go to work and you have to go to school. No office, no school until you and mommy have peace. Angel, we're no longer fighting. Right, honey? Right. Angel, please open the door. We are no Mommy, I don't trust you. Angel, please. Oh, I, I, please. Angel. Angel, open this door. Why do you have to pay someone to money for me? It was a careless mistake I made. I was scared of losing you. I'm sorry. I was never cheating on you until she came along. You pushed me into her. I, I shouldn't have listened to my friend. I'm so sorry. I was stupid. Please forgive me. Angel, please open the door. Angel. Angel, please, we're done fighting. Open the door. Yes, Angel. Mommy. My love. Are you people still fighting? No, Angel, please open the door. I'm really very hungry. Mommy, we're no longer fighting. Please open the door. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so baby, tell me, where do you want to go to? <laughs> 